All right, so the Pixel 6 Pro by Google has been a great deal since the time it was announced that they're going to come up with their own Tensor chip and from that time till the time it actually came to the market that has been a wonderful device and even with the execution that has been pretty good what has been a talk of the town for that matter has been the software feature that google is going to imply people were you know wanting to know if those features will only work on tensor cores and stuff like that well that actually is not the case because these days you do see a lot of pixel 6 pro features working on ports like these yes we are talking about the pixel 6 pro port for the mi 11x also known as the redmi k40 and the poco f3 today is the complete review of this wonderful rom that i've installed yesterday i did not release a video on this the day it released because i wanted to flash it i wanted to try it and i wanted to give you guys the opinion if you should install it or even it is worth trying or not but before we get into all those details if you haven't already well please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this if you like chatting with like-minded people join us on telegram we have more than 12 to 1300 people over there with similar devices you can chat get help all sorts of things and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going All right, so let's see what the development team has to say first. Google Pixel 6 Pro port Android 12 Elliot updated on the 20th of November 2021. You have download, then you have a disclaimer. Uh, please read the disclaimer. Let's not invest our time in reading the disclaimers. We'll read stuff that is important to us. So we have change log over here, updated to new base, decrypted storage. As far as there are bugs, double tap to wake is dead. A couple of other features are dead. Installation, well, a lot of YouTubers have made, made videos on the installation process. This is it. If you have any confusion and if you want me to make a video, let me know in the comment section. So read the FAQ notes and that is it. You need a computer to flash this and before that you have to be in Xiaomi, Xiaomi.eu stable. But that's not the discussion over here. Let's go ahead and actually talk about this ROM. So a Pixel 6 Pro port, what does that mean? That means that the software, the ROM that you get in Pixel 6 Pro, they've directly picked up that file, made it to work on our device and boy, they have done a brilliant job. It's almost there. You have almost all the features working, some small things here and they're not working, which will not be a deal breaker but might give you some issues here and there so if you actually go to about section and android android version 12 september security patch and uh, kernel is a disrupt kernel that they are using of course you do have your android 12 easter egg which gives you those wonderful color tiles and different color palettes so if you actually go to widgets over here there you go you have your android s easter egg as you can see multiple colors that Monet UI is using to make your user interface beautiful. The moment you boot into this particular ROM, you have this Google search pill at the bottom, which has assistant shortcut, Google lens shortcut. You can invoke your assistant from left corner or right corner. You have very, very basic applications, just four icons over here. To the left, of course, you have Google feed, which is running butter smooth. And the reason for that is if you go to display over here, and you enable this smooth display feature over here. It says it will move from 60 to 90, but if you actually check, let me actually go to developer options. And to do that, what you need to do is you need to keep tapping on the build number and go to settings over here. Go to system, developer options. You have that feature over here, which says show FPS info. There you go, show refresh rate rather. 60 okay enable this 120 there you have it so 120 hertz of goodness and it works absolutely fine google feed is smooth as butter it works really really well no problems whatsoever so yes this this is a very good experience now if you swipe from the top to bottom you have a usual google android 12 tiles and you can go ahead and edit them to add additional tiles like these privacy tiles you have this screen recorder which we'll check in a bit extra dim and nothing much remember this is not a custom rom so don't expect those custom features in the screen recorder you can record device audio and microphone if you start the recording over here there you go, the screen is being recorded. I'll tell you one thing, I, did I notice a bug over here? Real quick, let's go to the screen recorder once again, select device audio and microphone, start. Yep, it is recording now, right? So it was just a 
one off thing but as you can see even with the screen recorder on the smoothness is just next level it works absolutely fine let's quickly stop the screen recording here there you go power of snapdragon 870 let's go ahead and have a look at this particular recording Okay, now you do see that you have media playback issues. I had that in yesterday in YouTube as well. All right, so in order to fix this particular media lag, what you need to do is you need to go to settings, you need to go to apps, and then go to assistant over here. Select the option which says, say, hey Google. Okay, now over here you have this hey Google feature. Yeah, it turned on on my Poco X3 Pro. Anyways, over here, disable this okay you also need to make sure that you flash the firmware of your region so let's go to youtube over here and let's see if we are able to play media without any lag or not there you go so that instantly fixes it so the media playback can be fixed like that now let's get back to the review real quick over here okay so we have smooth Google feed. You have these beautiful Android 12 widgets, including the weather widget over here. And you also have these Android 12 clocks, which look really, really great. As you can see over here, very, very fancy stopwatches available there as well. Now, if you go to home settings, you will see that you have your standard pixel launcher with very, very basic customization options. But if you go to wallpaper and style and you select change wallpaper, you have these live wallpapers from Google for the pixel device, which are known as Bloom. And if you go ahead and enable them, Monet UI does a splendid job and it works really, really well, as you can see. So Monet UI is doing a great job, working absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever. And make sure whenever you install this ROM or any particular ROM, you go ahead and update all the apps from the Play Store because that will ensure that you have a smooth experience. You don't have, you know, random errors here and there. Right now, apart from this, it does come with a very, very basic Google Camera Go application, which does a very decent job of clicking pictures and stuff like that. So you do get ex excellent smoothness. As you can see over here, the app icon animations are very bouncy. Just see opening the widget and closing the widget. It is really, really fast, really, really smooth, and it works really, really well. So once you go to settings, you go to apps, right? You have assistant over here. As you can see over here, hold power for your assistant. So if you enable this, you will have to use the power menu over here, right? So better keep it disabled. Otherwise the power menu, you will keep wondering where the power menu go. Now you do have game settings in which you have the gaming dashboard. So the moment you launch a particular game, for example, Call of Duty Mobile, you will see that you have this game dashboard visible over here. You can enable all these features, including screen recording, all the buttons, and it works absolutely fine. So let's click over here. Optimization not available for this particular game. So the developer has to go ahead and enable the optimization for that particular game to take advantage of that particular game mode. Now, there are nifty features over here. Like for example, you have live translate, live transcribe, live caption, there you have it. Then live transcribe, there you have it. convert speech to text, okay. Then you have live translate, we use live translate, translate to English, and you can translate to Hindi as well. Now, while that language is being added, you do have voice typing over here as well, right? So for example, let me text my buddy over here. You see this particular mic over here, click on it. Hey buddy, how are you? What are you doing? And till what time will you be free? Stop. Delete. Delete all. Clear all. clear all the text okay so it's not you know taking those commands that well but it works absolutely fine you can actually dictate text to it at the same time you know uh, translate in google translate is working absolutely fine as well now let's go ahead and talk about the battery life on this particular rom so as you can see over here i've been charging discharging i've been using it so let's go to battery usage if the battery usage indicator is really really neat you can click uh, you can click these individual blocks they will tell you which app has used how much battery 
and uh, if you go back and you come to battery usage you have this particular information so the battery usage is not super amazing it's pretty decent the charging speeds are okay you can have, you know definitely get through a day you won't really have any major issues so all in all you know all the google pixel features are working fine in this particular rom including live translate and all the other things so if you actually go to systems you go to gesture over here okay quick tap not working swipe fingerprint for notifications not working quickly open camera will that particular feature works more works fine one-handed mode is working lift to check phone tap to check phone prevent ringing plus and on the power button for power menu and all those features so what i meant to say at the start of the video itself was that most of the features on this particular rom are working absolutely fine you will have no problem using this rom daily let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers over here all right so first let's talk about the cpu throttle test average score 244901 gips that's an excellent score 89 percent cpu throttle now let's go ahead and talk about geekbench over here real quick as you can see over here we go to history 907 single core 1745 multi core something happened there something wrong because if we talk about n22 over here 621 410 so the throttle score is good the games work absolutely fine you can definitely go ahead and give this rom a try battery backup and charging are completely okay as well you do get a lot of google goodies and google features the latest cutting edge software from google let me know in the comment section what do you think about this review until the next one this is kalash signing off with phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye